Hey guys, today we're gonna learn the science behind this stuff, smart glass. So as you can see right now, this piece of film is clear. However, with just the touch of a button, it goes to being opaque, and with another touch, it goes back to being clear, and back and forth, and back and forth. And I think this stuff is super cool, and it all works because of polymer dispersed liquid crystals. So this film is made up of a plastic polymer with really tiny holes, about 0.3 to 3 microns. And a micron is just one millionth of a meter. These tiny holes are filled with liquid crystals, and you can think of it sort of like Swiss cheese, and it's sandwiched in between two conductive layers. So when there's no current running through them, the liquid crystals are randomly oriented inside of the holes and they scatter light as it passes through, thus making it look opaque. However, when a current's run through it, all the liquid crystals align in the same direction and this allows light to pass through unscattered. And these liquid crystals are really special in doing this. As the name sort of implies, liquid crystals have some properties of liquids and some properties of crystals. They're fluid and have the ability to move and make droplets like a liquid would, but they have some properties of being a crystal, like being able to be arranged in a certain orientation. These liquid crystals are also anseotropic, meaning that their properties change with that orientation, and that's another thing that makes it more like a crystal. One of these properties is its index of refraction, or how fast light travels through it. You can see what refraction does if you put a pencil in a glass of water. The pencil looks sort of broken or bent, and this is because light travels faster through air than it does water, so when the light wave hits that water, the wave is slowed down, and this causes it to bend and look kind of distorted. The same thing is happening with the liquid crystals. When the liquid crystal is in a random orientation, its index of refraction does not match the polymer, and this causes it to bend light. And since all the molecules have different random orientations, this causes the light to be bent and scattered in all different directions, making it opaque. However, when the liquid crystals are lined up with the electric current, their index of refraction in that orientation matches the polymer, causing the light to go straight, be uninterrupted. In addition to these liquid crystals having to be made with matching indexes of refraction to the polymer, they also have to be rigid enough to align in one direction, but still fluid enough to move around. If you try to use a solid to do this, the intermolecular bonds holding the molecules together would be too strong and they wouldn't be able to align with an electrical field. And if you try to do this with a liquid, the intermolecular bonds would be too weak and their kinetic energy would be too high to align. And these carefully engineered smart glasses have a lot of real life uses. The biggest use is for privacy. So you can imagine you have your big glass office, but then if you wanna have a private meeting, you just click a button and you don't have to worry about anybody you know, sneaking in on your meeting. In addition to this, Boeing has also added smart glass to their 787 Dreamliner airplanes to replace a typical sunshade and allow you to control the level of light and not just have it opened or closed. And finally, smart glass can be used to reduce cooling costs as it reduces the amount of sunlight coming into a building when it's not in use. And this can save up to 20% on electrical costs and it has the added benefit of blocking out 99% of UV rays, which over time can degrade carpet and furniture. So who knows, maybe in the future, all glass will be smart glass. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating this video, then please leave a like or subscribe. And thanks to all my lovely patrons who really make these videos possible. Thanks.